where are these two people? On the moon. On the moon. We were in space earlier. Who are with space? Who are space? Cool, especially on the dark side. Fine, moon. Where on the moon? Come on, where on the moon? Cafeteria. The cafeteria. Thank you. Who are they? Oh yeah, who are they? What's their relationship? A chef and a server. Chef and a server, cafeteria on the moon. Have fun. <laughs> Well, 
pretty smart guy. I mean, I'm smart on Tuesday, and Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday, and Monday, and Tuesday. Tuesday.
when actually Abraham Lincoln was just a, you know, a dead guy. I hope she remembers this later and wants to date me. Yeah, Abraham Lincoln, yeah. I remember when he was dead. God, he has a big booger hanging out of his left nostril. <laughs> yeah, well, he was actually my hero, you know, since I was born when he was dead and everything. Yeah, this is showing my intellectual capabilities, I know. <laughs> well, I don't know about heroes, um, but uh, I know that my idol definitely is that, that lady who used to live a long time ago, um, you know, uh, Marie Curie. He picked a booger and didn't even share it with me. What kind of a cook is this? Oh, yeah, she was dead too, wasn't she? Oh, now we're like on a whole intellectual theme of some kind. Boogers? <laughs> Thanks. Creed? Ah. You better now? Yeah. I know, you gotta get that out of your system sometimes. I was feeling that way. <laughs> Together on stage and waste of time. Right, I mean, these people wait, come from, wait a minute, we want the focus. Here. I can just deal with this and then we can okay, get on with it. Well, you should deal with it because he's always bringing it up. Right yeah, see, when we're in the you should deal with it right away. It has okay. all this. Okay, yeah, wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I promise that after the show, I'll give you your money and then that will be that, okay? Okay. But just don't bring it up again or else I'll start getting mad. And you okay. might not feel so good about paying back. Uh, okay. So, right. Paul, he has this like strange mannerism of flaring his nostrils. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. So it was rough growing up, you know. I only had one parent. Yeah? yeah. You had a parent, huh? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Jeez. Lucky. Lucky? Well, I mean... I did not have had no parents. I had no siblings or even any, any other relatives. Well, Maybe I mean, you're dead. That's lucky because, because my parent, you know, I mean, she, she used to beat me all the time and, and put slices on me. That's well, your parents are the ones who did the beating? Me, it was strangers. Strangers just passing me by on the street, kicking me and, and throwing fruit at me and things oh. like that. I mean, it wasn't even intimate family members. Yeah, that's rough when strangers do it, but, but I was always having it happen to me by, by government officials and stuff. It was like it was sanctioned or something. They'd come to my house and show me a warrant, and then they'd beat me and kick me. Beat you and kick you? Yeah. Lashes in my arm, and they would rub salt and lemon juice into them. And then they would grow me into a vat with piranha in it. Piranha? Oh boy. Yeah, that's pretty nice because at least piranha, you know, I mean, at least you die, you have little time to die, I and mean, it's not like being thrown into a vat of hot, boiling nuclear acid water or something like that. Yeah, well, the piranha were in that acid water nuclear stuff. Whoa, super piranha. Wow. Great. All right, uh, I'm looking for the big spoons now. Um, the small spoons aren't big enough uh, for the, their mouths. I need a really big spoon. Okay, I'll get the big spoon. It's the Aldarians again. All right, but oh, that boy. They have such a big bug. <laughs> Whoa, that's a, that's a super spoon. Soup, oh, I'll give them some soup. <laughs> All right, three. Boy. I have my own flag of my own. Yes, but your flag doesn't fly at the 87 Olympics like mine does. Well, that's okay, because there's no 87 Olympics. No, oh, you missed that one, huh? Yeah, I missed a few things. At least, my country, tis of thee. <laughs> oh, yes? That's what they said. Um, my ca country uh, stands uh, proud and free. Oh. My country has social security program. My country has um, secret police that come and pick you up in the middle of the night. Oh, I could get a date that way. But in my country, um, they do not have secret police. They have upfront police, where they tell you before they come get you, they are coming to get you. Freeze. <laughs> Wait, 
but 18, uh, 17, uh, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Low. Low. Okay. Okay. Let's just crawl over there. Use that little nook. Nook. But keep low. I'm low. Okay. Okay. Nook. Nook. Okay, I'm low. All right, now, very quietly and very carefully peek up and see if they're there. But don't let them see you. Okay. All right. Peek over in that see. nook. I think they're in the nook. <laughs> No, we're in the nook. Uh-oh. And the cranny. Maybe we should go over to that cranny. Over the cranny. Okay. First they'll go in the nook, and then they'll go in the cranny. I know these animals. It's alphabetical. In the nook and cranny, you've heard that. Yes? These people I... think in a real linear way. They're like driven by cliches. Listen, watch this. Back and forth. Check it out. Maybe we could uh, Back and forth. Maybe we could go like like back there. To the nook? No, back there. Yeah. Oh, sure. Back. And the then, back. They'll, then they'll go forth. Watch this. Forth. <laughs> At least they're not going to and fro. <laughs> so, you just wait. These oh, people are totally wait. linear. Maybe if we jump in and sort of run forth and scare them, then they'll go away. Maybe, yes. To and fro. Watch this. I'll get from the left and you get from the right. Or vice versa. Oh, I'm sorry. They're skipping right to either way. Okay. <laughs> okay, either way. Oh, okay. good. Go!
<laughs> oh, Charlie, you're my best friend. Hello, Daniel. You're my best friend, too. I know you are like my Uncle Charlie. I call you that, I think. You are like my nephew, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> funny because we are nephew and uncle. <laughs> we call us that. Your mother uh, has a hard time with me coming over to the house. She always wants me to. Eat the baby. Eat, eat the baby. <laughs> oh. And see, considering you're the youngest. That means you want, you're supposed to eat me, huh? Yeah, but I just don't know where to start. It's, it's a real problem. Well, listen, Uncle Charlie, I love you and everything, but... Start at the foot. Start at the foot. Oh, boy, this is going to make a lot of people happy, Daniel. Okay. You're sir. Thank you, sir. Uh-oh, look, there's some... Toadstools. Toadstools. Toadstools! On my foot? Instead of toes, they, they're hideous little monsters. Well, go ahead. Eat them up. I know. I'll... Set fire to them. Set fire to them! Hand me your lighter! Here to please. God. Oh! Here you go. Ah, uh -huh. oh, they're much too damp. That's how toads do toads. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is never gonna work. Yeah. Well, I guess maybe you should just, uh... Eat them. Just eat them. <laughs> Plain and simple. Freeze. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this disease. Maybe you should go see the uh, doctor or something. I have, well, in sick bay. I have been to the doctor. I have been to <coughs> the sick bay. I have been every place except... Except the refrigerator. In the zoo. And down in the zoo. Perhaps they have some kind of microorganism.
this audience. Where is he? This gentleman right here. This gentleman right here does improvisational piano and flute at the same time. <laughs> A brilliant man from Russia. Welcome him.
things apart. Well, the audience is pretty close to the practice of the world, right? We went fine. I mean, here's 